What's good about looking here in Columbus as opposed to in Billings is simply we're quite a ways upstream and look how big some of these rocks are. I mean, if I happen to find a pudding stone or something that's this big, it'll only be on film because it's not going anywhere. That's a big rock. They had the floods here, I think it was in 2022, that really altered the course of a lot of these rivers and moved a lot of rocks around. There's a big chunk of concrete. Well, guys, I don't know if this will go home or not, but that's a nice mafic porphyry. Almost has a snowflake pattern to it. Very nice. Would you want that one, Art? It's flat, kinda. No? Oh yeah, th yep. Generally when we collect, we don't like them with any cracks unless there's something so rare that we know we'll never see it again. But these are common and it has a crack. So it'll stay for the next guy. I think this particular granodiorite is one of the more common rocks in the Yellowstone. This one's kind of neat because it has this portion of a what is likely like a, a narrow pegmatite vein going through it. But look how right on the contact zone can you see where the metamorphism took place? I'm not sure if this rock or this rock was altered. Most likely it was this one because this rock is everywhere here, this particular material. And most likely this came in and altered it into that fine grain, almost greenish hue there. Very cool. It's a nice, that would be a nice garden rock. <laughs> Let's see what, no, no cracks at all. The other side. just interesting this vein here now it's cleaned off and here comes the dog who needs a spray bottle when you can bring a dog along with you wouldn't you say they do a much better job at wetting the rocks